What is going on YouTube? My name is Kurt Yo and welcome back to episode 3 of Feed the Beasts. Now, I was meant to get nicknames for people, but I decided to scrap that idea. Cahill on the screen now will keep his nickname of the Maverick, but I couldn't think of one for Williams and I thought if I have to do this for every player that scores except the Beasts, I would run out of nicknames pretty quick, so I decided to scrap that idea and go straight on to the first game. This guy had a pretty decent squad for overalls. You know, he had Di Maria, he had Diego Costa, Fabregas, he's also got Courtois, Mascherano, quite a few high overall players, and the highlights reel was packed full of absolutely nothing. It ended 0 0, and with 0 0 results, means that we have to sell one of our players. And the first player that we bought, the longest serving player making him, is Mark Schwarzer. So we have to get rid of Schwarzer. However, in the reserve is a gold keeper, but I decided to scrap having the gold keeper as I thought it'd be unfair because I'm always going to have a gold keeper. It'd make it easy for me to save shots and everything. So I've got the reserve goalkeeper, the bronze one, the really crappy one, and you can see that proof that I put him up for 150 bid. And we go on to game number two. This guy, well, he had me scared a bit. 31 wins, two losses, in a team with almost 100 chemistry. I was beginning to poop myself a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I was I was nervous, but that happened. Connection was lost, and luckily for me, it counted as a win. So without even playing one game, I got to replace the rubbish keeper and replace him with the next best Australian goalkeeper, Reddings Federici. And I got him, and he connects with Williams well, giving me more chemistry. And we go on to game number three. This one, I promise has some highlights in the highlight reel but this guy I was the first person I've played with um, added um, attributes onto two of his cards and he's also got the American legend Tim Howard in goal so I didn't think I was going to get past him another nil nil draw possibly the game was really laggy but in the 20th minute I grabbed a corner big shoulder hitting it saved from Howard the first time but you can't keep out big shoulder forever it started off 1-0 in the 22nd minute and then just about 10 minutes after that, Cahill with a rocket. What are you doing there, Howard? Sort your goalkeeping out. And the Maverick getting his second goal under me, and he nearly got his third in the 90th minute. This thunderbolt of a shot. They had a fingertip save from Tim Howard and pushed it onto the post. So that game ended 2-0, straight onto our last game of the episode. Didn't these buy any players? I already had a full squad, and I can't replace players with better overall players. And this guy... Again, four Brazilian squads, I always fear them, they're always dangerous, and especially when you've got players like Diego, like Fred, like Paulinho, like Kaka, and they're, they're usually pretty strong, but nothing happened at all in the 90th minute, he sent his player through, Jonas was through on goal, and this magnificent save from Freddy Frederici, I know that's not his name, but I like calling him that, ended it 0-0, and that save saved Tim Cahill, because if I'd have lost that, that means the two players would have been leaving instead of one and luckily Tim Cahill keeps his spot for now but we had to get rid of Williams and we get the Korean shiny centre back back who actually has chemistry with my other centre back Divine and we put Williams on a 150 bid and that just about ends up the episode we're edging closer to get out of Australia we don't have a full Australian squad for the first time ending an episode we have the Korean shiny and centre back but I hope to amend that and maybe in episode 4 move out of, well, move out of the division and move out of Australia, hopefully. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments right down below. Subscribe if you feel like I'm worthy. And I'll catch you all in episode 4 of Feed the Beasts. Take care.